Hey everyone, it's Teresa from Teresa Sheridan Designs. And today I want to give you a quick tutorial on using the WordPress plugin Hashtagger and talk about why it's a good idea to use it and how to use it. So hashtags are now um, a really good way to search the internet for different things. And your blog or your website is no exception. So I like to share my blog posts to Instagram using a featured image, of course. But the unfortunate thing about Instagram is that it does not parse links to your website. So if you put a link to your website in your Instagram post, people cannot not click on it or press on it to go and read your blog post. So there is another way to encourage them to go there and read your blog post in Instagram, and that is with a hashtag. Hashtags are much easier to type in than a whole um, website URL, of course, and so this is a good way to drive some traffic to your website from Instagram. And you don't have to put your link in your bio and have people go to your bio and click on that link to get them to your WordPress post or your page. So um, the first thing you're going to do, of course, is go to your website and install the Hashtagger plugin. You can also download it here from WordPress.org if you want and install it, the zip file that way. But this is a free plugin, so it's available in the depository. So if you go to your WordPress website and go to Plugins and Add New, here you can search for it. and install this way, or you can upload the zip file that you just downloaded from the WordPress depository if you like also. We're just going to install this now, and we're going to go ahead and activate it. And then you'll see it in your plugins list. And there are some settings here, but I um, have really just left all of these in the default. And I haven't really given these too much attention yet um, because it works just fine without these settings. So once it's installed, then your website will parse hashtags. So you can see in um, this blog post here that I have, it's an older blog post, but I wanted to share this the other day and give people an easy way to get to it. So I just went and added the hashtags to the bottom of the blog post. And you can put them in your content if you want. Um, you can hashtag different things in your content, which of course that works just as well. But I just went ahead and decided to give this a couple of search terms that made, you know, blog inspiration being two words is not going to work too well in the content. So I just created those hashtags updated my post and um, that gives people an easy way to find it. So you might ask if you know anything about WordPress, why not just use WordPress tags? Well you could do that of course. Um, a lot of people like to use tags. I like categories better. But um, you could use tags but then tags aren't preceded by a hashtag. Therefore that is not going to carry over to your other um, other posts on the internet. For example, if you uh, use it in Facebook, it gives people um, just an easier way to be consistent and find your posts and your content with those hashtags. So the same uh, consistency needs to carry through to your website, of course. So that's why I prefer to use hashtags as opposed to just tags on a WordPress site for that reason, just for the consistency to carry over in other places of the internet uh, so people can find you that way. So for on the front end of the website then, of course, if, you, if someone searches for that hashtag, it will come up with any blog posts or pages where that hashtag exists. <coughs> so you can put in your Instagram post, um, you know, your website address, like I would put TeresaSheridan.com, hashtag blog inspiration to, to encourage people to search my blog for that hashtag and find the posts that are tagged with that hashtag. So I hope that gives you um, some information about using hashtags on your website 
and how to just stretch your reach a little bit further with Instagram and getting more traffic to your website from Instagram as well as other places on the internet.